Hello, and welcome to Bassoon Basics Part 2, Proper Bassoon Posture. My name is Christopher Garcia, and I'm the instructor of bassoon at Amarillo College in Amarillo, Texas. And today we're going to talk about the proper way to sit and play the bassoon. And this is going to be just a little guide in starting your uh, beginner bassoons and how to actually properly sit and hold the instrument. So in our last video, we talked about assembling and disassembling the video, and we talked about setting the seat strap on the chair. We didn't go into a whole lot of detail. So that's where we're going to start today. We've already assembled our bassoon, and we're to the point about setting our seat strap. So we want to make sure that we've got a nice seat strap. Like I said, we don't want one of those cup seat straps. They're really not that great. Just a simple leather seat strap works well. And what we're going to do is place the seat strap on the edge of our chair. Now, contrary to popular belief, the bassoon actually doesn't sit on the seat strap with our butt. What we actually do is use our thighs. Our thighs are what is holding the seat strap to the chair and holding the bassoon up. Now, as a uh, you're starting your beginner bassoons, and they're probably starting at a very young age, uh, in sixth grade, they're probably maybe 11 or 12 years old. You have to be a little bit patient. They may not weigh enough yet to actually hold the bassoon up. I've had this problem a lot with my beginners, that uh, they'll sit on the seat strap and it'll slide a lot, just because they're, they are just haven't, they just don't weigh quite enough yet. So if that happens, just be patient with your bassoonist and just to keep an eye on them and keep reminding them to adjust their seat strap. So let's take a look at a chair and see exactly how we're going to place our seat strap. So if we're looking at my chair here, what we want to do is take our seat strap and just place it right at the very edge of the chair, probably with about two, maybe three inches of space between the edge of the chair and where the seat strap goes. What we don't want is our seat strap to be all the way back here. This is a problem. It's going to cause your bassoonist to lean forward, have potential back problems, and even also have problems with their wrists as time moves moves on. So what we want is that seat strap just to be right about there. And what's going to happen as they play naturally, the seat strap is going to move a little bit and will end up being about right there, which is fine. And this is very simple for adjusting. It happens even with me having played bassoon for over 15 years. It still slides around in our chair, but we always want it to be right in the very front. Now let me show you what it's going to look like uh, holding the bassoon in the proper spot and in the improper spots. So if I'm holding the bassoon with my seat strap in the right spot, I'm able to sit up straight, I'm able to have the bassoon right in front of me, and I'm not doing any kind of weird leaning. There's no weird pressure uh, anywhere on my hands or anything. If my seat strap is actually all the way towards the back, now you see that the bassoon is really kind of shooting forward, and what I'm going to have to do is lean forward to play this. Now this is putting strain on my lower back. It's making my wrists be in a little bit of a different spot, which may not seem bad at first, but over time it's going to cause a lot of problems and a lot of uh, arthritis in our wrists. But really what we're doing is we're just kind of leaning over. We're constricting our lungs and not able to, to properly breathe. And then it just makes overall holding the instrument bad. So what we really want is just to make sure that that seat strap is all the way towards the front. That gives us the best uh, absolute posture to hold this. Now one other thing you have to know about the bassoon is we actually need to sit back in our chair, pretty much all the way back with our, or at least our lower back touching the chair. We don't want to lean back, but your bassoonist will be able to sit all the way back. We need that extra space to make sure that we're actually holding the bassoon in the proper spot. So bassoonists are lucky. We don't have to sit on the edge of our chairs like all most other beginner instruments. We get to sit in the back. So make sure, um, that your bassoonists know this and keep an eye on their posture. If you see them leaning forward quite a lot, it probably just means that their seat strap is in the wrong spot. Now, the other thing that we have to talk about proper bassoon posture is actually how the bassoon comes to our face. So when the reed is on, and we'll talk about uh, proper reed placement in the next video when we talk about bassoon embouchure, but what we want is the reed to come directly to our mouth. So we will adjust the reed to fit straighten our mouth so that we're not doing any kind of weird head thing and just come straight to us. What we don't want is 
uh, which is very common in young bassoon players, is your seat strap to be too high and you're looking up and you're having this change here in your neck, or your seat strap to be too low where we're looking down. Those are the two common problems. You want your student to be able to sit straight up, no problems, no leaning, and the reed comes straight to them so that they have a very, very comfortable way of playing. <laughs> This is the best way to get a full breath and to make a proper sound. So keep an eye on your young bassoon players to make sure that they're doing things correctly. You'll see a whole lot of chins up or chins down. You'll see a whole lot of tilted heads and you'll see a whole lot of leaning forward. And just be on top of your bassoon players because otherwise they'll create this bad habit and they'll think that that's the way that they're supposed to play. So just if you're following these tips about how your students should be sitting in the chair, you'll have no problems. So stay tuned for our next video where we will talk about bassoon embouchure and how to make a sound on the bassoon. Thanks. Have a great day.